First detection of neutrinos from inside the Milky Way. A new look at the galaxy. Scientists associated with the Ice Cube collaboration have presented evidence of emissions from the interior of our galaxy of high-energy neutrinos, elusive particles that interact weakly with matter. Data from the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory a particle detector located deep in the ice of Antarctica has made it possible to create an image of the Milky Way with these particles. Ice Cube Collaboration is an international project bringing together over 350 scientists from around the world. Its task is to study neutrinos using the IceCube Neutrino Observatory, a detector deep under the ice of Antarctica. In the latest publication, scientists have presented evidence for the emission of high-energy neutrinos from the Milky Way. These data allowed us to create a picture of our galaxy using just neutrinos. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Science. Neutrinos, next to photons, are the most abundant particles in the universe. However, not much is known about them because they are the most elusive of the elementary particles known to us today. They also interact very weakly with matter, so weak that they are often referred to as ghost particles. Neutrinos have an incredible ability to penetrate. For example, a planet such as Earth poses almost no obstacle to them. Scientists estimate that 65 billion neutrinos pass through one square centimeter of our planet's surface facing the Sun every second. These particles in great abundance and every second pierce our bodies, and we usually have no idea about it. Neutrinos are electrically neutral and thus are not reflected by cosmic magnetic fields as they travel through space, meaning that the direction they come from points to their true source. The first speculations about the existence of neutrinos appeared in the 1930s, but their first experimental observation took place almost a quarter of a century later. Over the course of research, it was discovered that there are at least three types of these particles, electron, muon and tau neutrinos, and each of them has its counterpart in the world of antimatter, i.e. Each has its own antiparticle. These particles have no electrical charge and are produced in nuclear reactions inside stars as well as in reactors on Earth. Relatively recently, it was discovered that these particles oscillate, that is, they are constantly transforming from one type to another. This phenomenon means that the observed neutrinos must have a certain, albeit very small, mass. Without knowing the mass of neutrinos, our understanding of the universe will remain incomplete. In a study a year ago, scientists were able to determine the upper range of the neutrino mass. By measuring the energy distribution of the electrons released during the beta decay of tritium, 
physicists determined that the neutrino had a mass of no more than 0.8 electron volts. The study of high-energy neutrinos will not only help us better understand the course of the turbulent events that constantly occur at the interface between the Earth's atmosphere and space, but will also shed more light on the nature of the interactions of these difficult-to-detect particles. But how to study these elusive particles? Demonstrating their presence is extremely complicated. Because most of these ghost particles penetrate the entire Earth. Only in very rare cases does a neutrino interact with its surroundings. Sometimes it interacts with water molecules to form particles called muons as byproducts, which can be observed as flashes of light inside the detector's senses. From the patterns that create these bursts, scientists can reconstruct the energy and sometimes the sources of the neutrinos. However, to be able to observe them. Scientists needed a really quiet place. These conditions were met by the ice cube detector located near the South Pole. This detector, operated by 49 scientific institutions from 14 countries, uses thousands of photomultipliers to monitor a cubic kilometer of ice deep below the surface. Photomultiplier tubes track subtle light flashes initiated by the interaction of ice-forming particles with neutrinos. The giant detector consists of more than 5,000 such optical sensors suspended from 86 strings that hang from holes drilled in the ice of Antarctica. The depth of the holes reaches up to 2.5 kilometers. IceCube has detected high-energy neutrinos whose energies are millions to billions of times higher than those produced by stellar nuclear fusion reactions. It's intriguing that, unlike light of any wavelength, the universe outshines nearby sources in our own galaxy for neutrinos says Francis Halzen of the University of Wisconsin-Madison and principal investigator at IceCube. As is often the case, significant scientific breakthroughs are made possible by technological advances. The capabilities provided by the highly sensitive IceCube detector combined with new data analysis tools, have given us a whole new view of our galaxy, one that has only been mentioned before. As these capabilities continue to be refined, we can expect this image to come in ever higher resolution, potentially revealing hidden features of our galaxy that humanity has never seen before, said Denise Caldwell of the National Science Foundation, NSF. So far, observations of high-energy neutrinos have shown that most of them come from extragalactic sources, such as active galaxies far beyond our own. In contrast, gamma-ray observations revealed bright emissions from the plane of the Milky Way. Gamma rays and neutrinos are believed to be produced by the same astrophysical processes. Which is why the Milky Way has long been the expected site of neutrino emission. 
However, previous searches for a neutrino signal from our galaxy have not yielded conclusive evidence. This search focused on the southern skies, where most neutrino emissions from the galactic plane near the center of the Milky Way are expected. The breakthrough was the implementation of machine learning methods developed by researchers associated with the IceCube collaboration and scientists from the Technical University of Dortmund. Using new techniques on data recorded over the last 10 years by the IceCube detector. Scientists have found the first statistically sound evidence of neutrino emission from the inner parts of the Milky Way. According to the scientists, this detection is evidence that the Milky Way is a source of high-energy neutrinos and their observed excess is consistent with the distribution and expected interactions of cosmic rays in the galaxy. The improved methods allowed us to identify more than an order of magnitude more neutrino events with better angular reconstruction resulting in an analysis that is three times more sensitive than previous searches, says Mirko Hunnefeld from the University of Dortmund, also involved in IceCube's work. The dataset used in the study included 60,000 neutrinos, which is about 30 times more events than the selection used in previous analyses. These neutrinos were compared with previously published maps that show the places in the sky where the galaxy should shine with neutrinos. The result is a fascinating picture of neutrino sources throughout our galaxy. The image shows that neutrinos are predominantly produced in regions with previously detected gamma-ray sources, confirming earlier suspicions that many neutrinos are produced as by-products of cosmic rays hitting interstellar dust and gas. Observing our own galaxy for the first time using particles instead of light is a huge step, said Naoko Karahashi Nielsen, professor of physics at Drexel University. With the development of neutrino astronomy, we will get a new lens for observing the universe, he adds. Seeing our galaxy with neutrinos is something we dreamed of. But for many years it seemed beyond the reach of our project, says Chad Finley of Stockholm University and one of the IceCube team members. What has made this result possible today is the machine learning revolution which allows us to explore our data much deeper than before, he adds.